What's going on, everybody? This is Derek Shelton. It's January 15th, 2015, and I'm super excited to welcome you all to the very first upload of a little series I'm calling Stand Straight. I've been waiting for the opportunity to finally get some decent footage out there so that we can hopefully engage in some good dialogue and you guys can just always know what's going on with me. Now, like I said in my Facebook post, I promise to do this at least once a week. Still haven't figured out the exact day that we're going to be doing it. Perhaps you guys can comment, let me know, but I'm definitely going to be uploading, showing my face, speaking on some subjects once every week. All right. So with that being said, a little bit of background information on me, just in case you don't know, I'm the author of a book called The Appropriate Balance, A Young Man's Guide to Finding Purpose Through Failure and Adversity. I'm also a speaker. I also am what I like to call a motivational DJ. Um, if you're not sure what that is, it's okay because I kind of just made that up for me and what I do exclusively. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. All right, now let's get down to it. The reason I started this series is that I wanted to put some topics out there, get some feedback, and just engage in the dialogue one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, whatever comments are welcome, whatever video shares are welcome, uh, whatever messages or emails that may come from this, it's all good. I want those. Give me feedback. Let me know what's going on with you. I'll let you know what's going on with me, and we can just build a relationship from there because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, more specifically, uh, what I do is geared at helping young men, uh, ideally ages 18 or 30, uh, who I like to refer to as my peers, uh, bounce back from failure, adversity, and just overall misfortune. Uh, I wrote a book last year, and I pretty much outlined all of my own personal experiences that kind of led me to the point to want to help others. Uh, I'm very big on uh, giving back. I'm very big on service. I'm very big on transparency. Uh, I like to share things with people in hopes that someone can use maybe something that I've gone through uh, to get them through a situation or something similar. Because nowadays it's all about resources. It's all about being able to find real life testaments of inspiration and hope. Um, now, however, in the same sense, I'll tell you why I'm different from your typical uh, motivational author or inspirational speaker that you may find out there today. I have a niche. And as much as some people would have me to believe my niche is not as important, I want to say, as it should be to the world or to others outside of myself, I'm very loyal to my niche. I understand that I have a specific message, I have a specific testimony that will speak to a lot of young men. Now, that doesn't mean I want to alienate my women from anything that I do. Ladies, please don't take anything I say to heart. I'm not trying to discredit you guys. You are, you're the bomb, okay? So by all means, please continue to stay engaged. Give me some feedback. Let me know what I uh, could be doing better. Let me know if you have any input that you think a, a young man struggling, a young man that's doubting himself, or a young man that's um, not so sure of what to do next. You guys are a lot smarter than us, right? I don't think there's no secret. I don't think any of the fellas are going to get mad when I say that. So by all means, please stay engaged. Please give me your feedback as well. It's very valued, uh, and it, it will be very much appreciated as well. So back to what I was saying. Um, everything that I do is with the purpose of helping. Uh, everything I do is with the intent on trying to improve somebody's situation. Now, these uploads will not be any type of promotional video where I'm trying to get you guys to buy my book, even though it is available. <laughs> I'm just playing. Just a joke. This is not about that right now. This is about us engaging in a dialogue, whether it be virtually um, on this video, comments, emails, whatever. I want to connect to the people out there because I know there are young men, uh, fellas, homeboys, bros, cousins, nephews, uncles, whatever. I know there are men out there that can identify with some of the situations I've been through and that can ultimately use uh, what I have to offer to help them, right? So every video is going to be a theme. Every video is going to have a topic. I hope you guys jump in and give me your thoughts. But for the very first rendition of Staying Straight, I want to ask you guys a question, okay? And this is serious, all right? It's going to sound crazy, but stay with me. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm making a point, all right? All right. So, honestly, I want you to think about your biggest failure, right? 
And you may say, what do you mean my biggest failure? Uh, none of my failures are bigger than the other. They're all, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the failure that push you to your absolute mental and physical limits. The failure that you couldn't correct overnight. The failure that you couldn't bounce back from uh, in a matter of days. The type of failure that you had to sit down and honestly, 100% genuinely look yourself in the mirror and say, I have to find a way through this, past this, over this. Um, I think a lot of people take that word failure for granted. Uh, a lot of people will fail at some point in their life, um, either whether whether they fail themselves uh, or they feel the pain from someone else failing them, whatever it may be, it's all failure. And if you're not conscious of what it means to fail and get back up, what it means to fail, learn from your failure and be better in the future. If you're not conscious of that, it can have an absolute devastating effect on you. I know, I know this firsthand. Uh, I know friends that have felt this same type of failure. I mean, the type of failure that money can't get you out of it. Money can't turn it around for you. Like I'm talking about the type of failure where you have to sit down and just make it through somehow. Right. And like I said, I'm all about transparency. I'm all about being honest. 100%. I have nothing to hide. Uh, I, I'm not shy to talk about any of my experiences because honestly, I believe those experiences are what make me great in my own right. And what sets me apart from other people. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. Don't please don't misstrew my words. Um, I'm just simply hinting at the possibility of me being a better me because of my failures and understanding them. So you say, Derek, all right, what was your biggest failure? I would honestly have to say that my biggest failure was losing my family, right? Um, I'm not going to give you guys too much of my backdrop right now. We'll get into that at a later time. But at one point I had a family and being the type of young man that I am, um, I always took very seriously the amount of responsibility and, and uh, just overall effort that it takes to um, to run a household, right? I dreamed about it as a little kid. I dreamed about it as a teenager and, you know, what it would be when it was my time to have a family and have a child to support. And from that, uh, I went through a real bad period. I went through a, a really bad time, really a really difficult uh, three years in my life um, from 2011 up to 2014 um, and it was rough. I didn't have uh, a book to tell me what to do. I didn't have friends that had been in my situation necessarily before that could tell me how to get through it. Uh, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, so all of my family are back home in North Carolina, so I didn't have family to run to that could uh, console me and make me feel better. So I literally had to deal with the demons that I created. I had to deal with the, the pain um, that came psychologically uh, and, and also mentally uh, to, to an extent, uh, those things that came with that. Now, at the time it happened, I was an absolute wreck. I was terrible. I, I was sulking. I was whining. I was talking to anybody that would listen. I, I was a mess. Um, I, I really lost uh, my identity, so to speak. So once that situation played itself out and I had to go through those three years of really just trying to hit the reset button and get myself back on track, I figured out something. Something so important was finally identified and incorporated into who I am and it helped me become the person I am today. And that one thing was that you'll never learn how to win if you don't lose first. And I hear you. I, I, I know what you're saying. Nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to go through bad times. Nobody wants to be down and out. Nobody wants to be depressed. Nobody wants to have to feel like they lost. But can I tell you something? 
what if, just just maybe, what what if perhaps if you lost everything, you failed and you just completely had to start over, what if that made you qualified, right? What if that guaranteed you something in the future? What if the fact that you were able to endure without giving up, without trying to do physical harm to yourself or just move and move in with your mom and just sulk on her couch every day? What if you took the initiative to really go through your situation, learn from it and come out on the other side? What if doing that would guarantee you everything you ever wanted? What if? Okay. Just maybe. Okay. Just, 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 just keep that for right now. Just and just marinate on that. So, I'm gonna share a little story with you, a little uh, analogy, if you will. We're gonna get corny for a second. All right. So y'all stay with me. I promise you, I'm going somewhere. Now. I'm making a point with this. We're gonna get a little dorky for a second. Right. So, I want to leave you with this. Growing up, I was fascinated by a Japanese anime cartoon. Right. And uh, some of my anime fans out there may already know where I'm going with this or have an idea. But it was a particular anime cartoon that I loved and I was into it. I was, yeah, I, it was it was me. It was my thing, like, for uh, uh, quite a long time in my uh, middle school to high school years. And that was a show called Dragon Ball Z, okay? Now, just to give you a little backdrop, uh, excuse me, backdrop on Dragon Ball Z. Um, it was centered around this race of warriors from another planet uh, that came to Earth. And then this one particular warrior, uh, he was a, I'm, I'm, I guess it would help if I told you guys the name of the warrior race. They're called Saiyans, right? They were known as Saiyans. So these Saiyans, were, they came from their planet and one uh, came to Earth. And the thing about these Saiyans was that they were a, a a, a barbaric race. They were known as warriors. They were known as just, just go across the galaxy and just conquer planets. Just war and fighting was all they knew. But it was a thing about these sayings, right? These sayings had an attribute about them that literally made them unstoppable in the future, in time, as time went on. So it literally got to a point where these Saiyan warriors just become unbeatable because of all the previous wars and battles and fights that they've been in, they get to a level where they're almost unbeatable. So, with that being said, I want you to look at your situation. Whether it be something you're dealing with right now, a failure, a letdown, some misfortune, adversity, whatever that may be, or if it's something from your past, a regret that you're still holding on to, a failure that is keeping you prisoner and prohibiting you from going to that next level and discovering your true purpose and achieving your full potential in life. One thing about greatness or achieving your own personal greatness is that that greatness is in all of us. Everybody's greatness may look different, but everybody has the capability of being great. It's not something that's limited to a particular category of people, age group, demographic, tax bracket, culture, color or creed. It's in all of us. I have it. You have it. Everybody has it. The thing about it is not a lot of people are willing to do what it takes to unlock that, to unleash their greatness, which is going through those difficult patches, coming out on the other side and having that attitude that regardless of how bad you get beat down, you're just focused on making sure you make it out on the other side. That's what it's all about. Even though Saiyans are a mystic, magical, fictional race that come from Dragon Ball Z, what if you apply that Saiyan attribute to your situation? What if you apply that Saiyan attribute to your life, knowing that whatever you go through only makes you better? It only makes you better and qualifies you to become great. Now, how long that takes, we don't know. It's different from everybody. It's different for me, different for you. But just knowing that each failure you overcome gets you a step closer to being great. All right? I know it's not rocket science. I'm throwing at you guys. 
I just wanted to share that little gem with you because it was a time where that really helped me. So I'm hoping that it will help you just like it did for me. Unfortunately, it's almost midnight here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to have to shut it down. I'm going to have to let you guys go, but I'm pumped. I'm, I'm ready to go. I still have on my work clothes. I could do this all night, but I'm going to give you guys a break, let you marinate on what we discuss, and hopefully you guys will comment, send me a DM, hit me up, email, go to my website, whatever. Uh, feel free. I'm encouraging you. I, I hope you guys will do that. You can email me directly at info at absolutelyap.com for more about me, my book, everything I have going on, things I'm going to be doing in the future, whatever. Just keep up with me. Please go to the website. Check it out. www.absolutelyap.com. And that's about it, guys. I'm really enjoying this. Really glad we had this opportunity to sit down. Can't wait to do it again. But until then, I want you guys to stay straight. I want you guys to use failure as a chauffeur. And I want you guys to be blessed. Hey, this is Derek Show. Signing off.